Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new. Hello, my name is V. I am posting one video every single day up until Christmas. That is 25 videos and we are on day four. If you did miss any of the previous videos, make sure to check those out. Make sure you turn on your post notifications and subscribe to my channel. I am inserting tons of giveaways throughout this month. I'm so excited that we have made it to day four. I am doing a very simple set for today's video. I wanted this set to scream Christmas, yet not do too much craziness. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now let's get right into it. Right into today's video, I'm starting off with this beautiful glitter acrylic from Not Polish. It is the perfect Christmas color, so I figured I would go ahead and use it. I'm just applying that over the entire surface of this nail, gently blending it up, making sure that I have an even thin layer of that. I want it to be opaque enough to cover and there not be any see-through areas, so that's basically what I'm focusing on. And then I'm applying another little bead of acrylic near the cuticle gently blending it down and for the final bead of acrylic i am using a very small bead placing that a little bit far out gently pushing it up and then blending it down i am obsessed with glitter acrylics especially for the holidays so this one is so so pretty I'm applying white glitter from Not Polish on to my index finger. Again, a full glitter nail. It is so, so pretty. I'm obsessed. Like I said, glitter, Christmas is the perfect combination. So for today's video, I did want to focus on my middle finger. I wanted to really go in depth on my peppermint look and vibe nail. This is a staple for Christmas, and I wanted to show you guys how I do it with acrylic. It's my favorite design ever. I don't think it's too hard either, so definitely recommend it. Now I'm starting off with a very small bead of acrylic. This is that same white glitter, and I'm going to start carving out that slant. I love these type of designs because it's super simple, such an effective design you get christmas written all over it but it's so easy to create i'm just adding a little bit of white glitter i don't know what i was thinking i ended up not really liking it but it still went with the vibe i feel like it looks like snow <laughs> i'm taking this pre-mixed glitter that i have and i've been using this for years it has green white red in it and it's already pre-mixed with clear acrylic so i'm just going straight into it and adding a tiny bit of that again doing that slant Glitter is so easy to mold into perfect straight lines. So I definitely recommend you guys try this with glitter acrylic because I'm telling you it's way easier than doing it with regular acrylic. So I'm going to be continuing to add extremely small beads, placing them where I want to be. I'm doing just a random pattern. I'm just adding layers of stuff. So now I'm going in and adding just a little bit of resting grinch face from profiles backstage this one is a loose glitter so i'm pairing that with the green glitter and just applying that over top to give it just a little bit more of a sparkle going back in with white glitter for this one i did get a slightly bigger bead of white just because i want the line to be just a little bit thicker than the green one once that's cleaned up i'm going in with red fox which is the one that i used on the pinky nail as well 
and applying that along that slanted line and then carving out the opposite side with my brush. Again, I like to go over the other color as well just to make sure that everything is nice and clean. And once you master cleaning designs like this with your brush, it's super easy and you definitely will not want to use an X-Acto knife. I'm just going to continue to alternate colors on that nail and kind of just let you guys watch the rest of this nail. Applying Red Fox again on the index finger, I contemplated doing green, but then I felt like that was going to be way too tacky. If you do want to do green, go for it. But just because I added so much already on this nail, I didn't want it to be overbearing and I feel like red is such a staple for Christmas. Everybody and their mom wants red for Christmas. So I was like, why not make it red? So for this specific set, if I were to be doing it on a client, on the thumbnail, I would put red again. So I would just do the index finger and the middle finger as an accent. Once I'm done with applying that acrylic, I am going on encapsulating and I absolutely want to encapsulate, especially when you're working with glitter. It will protect that glitter so that when you file, you don't ruin any of the glitter. You can sometimes file through the color and it'll show just silver. So always be aware of that. Definitely encapsulate, especially using glitter. The chunkier, the more likely you need to encapsulate. So definitely remember that. I'm just going in with small beads of that acrylic and gently blending it into the existing acrylic, making sure that I'm getting the thickness that I want and always, always, always being aware of the sides, making sure that I'm cleaning them up so I don't have to do too much filing at the end.
once the acrylic is nice and dry, I'm going in with my e-file and just filing the cuticle area gently with my 5-in-1 bit from Kiara Sky. And then I am filing the surface of the nail just very, very gently, making sure that I'm getting rid of any ridges or any bulky areas that I might have and ensuring that the surface is nice and smooth. I'm going in on the sides of the nail with my Tammy Taylor peel and stick file and making sure that the shape is nice and perfect. You definitely do not want to skip this step because no matter how much you clean the sides, you will still get a little bit of acrylic on those sides and you want to make sure that it is super, super straight so that the shape is flawless. I am going to be flipping the hand around to look at the nails from the client's perspective and this will help me see any flaws that I might not see but that they will see. And I'm just squaring off those nails making sure that I have a very good grip on that nail so that the nail doesn't wiggle back and forth and cause your client to be uncomfortable. I did go ahead and clean the nails off. I don't know what happened to that footage, but I'm going in and top coating these nails using Glossed from Not Polish. Applying a very thin layer of that. Because we are doing glitter, I just felt that I needed to do shiny. It wouldn't have been that fun if I did matte nails for this. It definitely wouldn't have brought out the detail, especially on this nail. So I'm going to be carrying that in the light for at least one minute. I like to do two minutes just to make sure that everything is fully, fully cured. Look how simple and how cute these turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.